Hi and welcome to another new Splites video. My name is Tom Anderson. Um, I'm a solutions engineer in the Nuix security and intelligence team. And I'm going to talk to you today about our Insight Analytics and Intelligence program uh, and specifically the incident response uh, solutions pack that we provide. Um, so I'm just going to jump over to our UI now. Um, hopefully you had a chance to catch the, um, the other videos on the product uh, which go into uh, a bit more detail about uh, the solutions packs. Uh, this one's just going to be targeted uh, at the incident response pack uh, as I mentioned. So here we can see our timeline view um, uh, and on the, uh, the left here we have different um, the packs that have been run against our case data. Um, so our case uh, here is um, it's called Blue Hill. It's our incident response uh, demo case um, and the uh, scenario here is that we have um, a web server running. Uh, on that web server we have customer information which includes um, credit card information um, and we've noticed some unusual activity uh, coming from the server and also on some of the machines on our network. Um, so we've actually used our um, enterprise collection center um, and gone out and um, done targeted collections on our server uh, and also other machines on the network uh, which were uh, presenting unusual activity. We then take the, the uh, files, folders or, or images that we've taken of those machines and then we've processed those into this project uh, called Blue Hill. Um, as part of that uh, processing uh, stage we have also uh, done a couple of additional steps for this particular case. We've um, been looking at files for um, the likelihood if they're, if they're a web shell or uh, maybe showing signs of SQLite injection. Um, we've also um, looked at the hashes of some of the binary files and we've sent those up to VirusTotal uh, to see if there's any matches on VirusTotal. Um, and we've also processed them against um, various Yara rules as well um, to try and show uh, if any of the, the files match uh, Yara rules. Um, so that's kind of what some of these are showing on this timeline here. Um, if I go through the, the top one first, um, so we've got matches for credit card numbers here. I can um, just take a look at all of these if I want to. Um, I can send them onto our canvas, which is our uh, main kind of investigation view, or I can just send them to search if I want to take a look at the specific files. Okay, so here are the, the files that have matched uh, our credit card search there. And um, we can see some um, just sample detail files here. Obviously, we've we've got highlights of where they've matched, so we can see American Express, and we've got some different card numbers. Um, I go down, I can see some CSV files. I can also see some um, hits on our uh, SQLite database that's running, uh, SQL database, sorry, that's running on our server. So uh, there could be some interesting results there. Um, I can then go down here. We've also got a digest list. Um, so within this digest list, we just have um, uh, MD5 hashes of, of known uh, malicious software. So again, I'm just going to take a look at this um, in my search view. Um, and I can see some unusual looking files there, which I'd probably need to investigate further. Um, if I want to just take a quick look at one of those, I can just click on the, the file here. And then to the right of the screen, we get some more uh, information. We get the metadata here. Um, which you can take a look at and very quickly I can see that this uh, friendly.exe um, was uh, on this PC um, and it was in this user's directory here, uh, deliver. So maybe I want to go and uh, investigate that a little bit more uh, in a bit more detail. Okay, so next um, we have the virus total matches here. Um, again, I can take a look at those, send them to our search bar, um, and it's going to be very similar to our digest list. Um, so for our binary files here, um, which is with unusual names, uh, and you probably want to take a look at those files. Um, again, you can figure out the path, things like that, um, and then uh, carry on your investigation from there. Um, Next is the, the Yara rules matches. Um, so again, this was just, um, we had a, a large folder of uh, Yara rules that we've run against the case, um, the binary files in the case, um, and then 
from the looks of this, we've got seven matches here, so I'm going to send those off to our canvas. Uh, it's a bit more interesting to explore on our canvas. Um, so here we can see the rules that have been matched. Um, what I can do then um, is I can uh, open those up. Here I can see this uh, This has got a single match on this file here. Uh, maybe if I take a look at another one, um, I'm going to open this one. I can see um, various files here again which match this particular rule. Uh, again I can click on the item, um, take a look at the details of the, the file I wanted to uh, and again um, just maybe this is a nice starting point into my investigation. Okay um, so I'm just going to jump back to the timeline again. Um, the next thing on the list here is the newly created files. Um, so what we do here um, we take a look at the, the most recent items in the case um, and then we um, have a user-defined um, time frame which is classified as uh, what, what classifies as new. Um, in this case we've got five new files um, and obviously with a, an incident response case uh, new files, especially if it's very soon after the incident, new files may be of interest, newly created files. So um, again there's another nice avenue there for you to investigate. Um, and then finally here we've got um, web shell probable matches um, and again part of our, as I mentioned our, our processing uh, stage we would uh, look at all the different files there um, we'd look at the contents of the files uh, and then we'd kind of uh, determined and score the files based on um, keywords and, and certain elements of the file um, and to determine if that is likely to be a web shell or a SQLite injection things like that uh, and again, we're just going to bubble those up to you on the timeline um, to, to give you a nice starting point for your investigation. Okay, well, I, I hope that's been useful. Uh, make sure you uh, tune in uh, again and, and catch some of our uh, new New Exploits videos. Um, thanks for watching.